Hey guys, welcome to the shop. Today we're going to be looking at the dust topper. Dust topper. I keep wanting to say dust stopper, but dust topper. If you guys want to see more about this product, be sure to stay tuned. Thanks. and you watch one of my last videos, you kind of have a general idea of what project I'm already working on. And that's carving some black walnut mountains and working on some trees and whatnot. And using my power carver here and my uh, saber tooth bits and things to, to carve that. So what I'm getting at is that creates a lot of fine dust. Now I got a lot of other tools in the shop that create a lot of fine dust. And so I've been wanting to get something that I can just hook up to my shop vac and use to filter the dust pre-filter the dust before it gets into my shop vac where I have to keep replacing filters. Now I know there's a lot of different things we could go with, but honestly, the dust topper is something that I could just go down to the old Home Depot, pick up, and give it a try without having to wait and order and do all that stuff online. This thing comes in, I think, right around 35 bucks, less than 35 bucks when you buy direct. I did find it on Amazon. It's a little bit more, but I will share that link for you guys below as usual. I will also share all the links to anything I can that we discuss to Amazon. If you guys purchase through those Amazon links, they help support this channel. I actually opened it right at Home Depot before I purchased it at the counter with the cashier. And the reason being, it was the last one on the shelf and it had that damage right there in the corner of the box. And well, I know this thing is made of some plastic. I wanted to make sure it didn't just get crushed and destroyed. I didn't want to have to leave see that it was broke, come back, or try to return it, or, you know, you get it, you get it. It's the last one, the box is broke, you don't want to pay for something broken, right? So it was already open, well, we already opened it to look at it. So let's open this thing up, we're kind of going to go over it. We're also going to use it here in a few minutes once we kind of check everything out and uh, see how it performs, because i got a ton of carving to do on this, ton of fine black walnut dust, and uh, yeah, I mean, if it's a review, unboxing whatever we need to see how this thing works open this thing up damage on the box makes it a little difficult to not rip it apart but comes with a hose and the unit so a couple little pieces of paper in here it's got assembly instructions operators manual for the dust topper HD 12 that's what this is and we've got some important safety instructions. If you guys purchase it, feel free to check those out. I'm not. So let's go back to the box. We've got Spanish on one side here. Collects 99% before it enters your wet or dry vac. And it includes one dust stopper, 36 inch hose that is two and a half inch diameter. Looks accurate, it looks about the same yeah, it's the same size hose that's on my rigid shop vac, so okay. And it says it comes with a 90 degree elbow. Not mine. Wow. Um, guess I should have read the box when we opened it to make sure my 90 degree elbow was in there. Pfft. Thanks a lot, guys, because there's no 90 degree elbow in here. I know we opened it at the store, but I didn't even pay attention. I knew there was a hose and this thing was supposed to be in there, but I didn't even pay attention to the fact that there's no 90 degree elbow. And the kicker is, here's the kicker. Yeah, the box corner was crushed, but the tape we cut in the store was the original tape. They didn't like retape this box up. It's the original piece of tape from the factory. So hey, Dust Topper, if you guys watch this, you never put a 90 degree elbow in the box. Come on, what the heck? That's kind of a bummer. Whatever, we'll make it work without it. We'll figure it out, I'll get one later. Kind of a bummer though. Stuff happens, I get it. I run a small business too. Things can be overlooked, no worries. Honestly, I'm not giving it a bad review due to that other than it'd be nice to get my elbow. Let me know, I'll give you guys a minute. This video is a couple days late. I just wanted to let you know that I did reach out to Dust Topper just to let them know it wasn't in there so that they could keep an eye on their quality control for 
future customers. I'm not normally one to complain. I mean, it's only a few dollar item, and so I wasn't asking for a replacement or anything, but they said that they would mail me one out, and so I gave my mailing address, and there's supposed to be one in the mail. Now, I plan on doing an update video on the dust stopper in about a week or two after I've used it, getting this walnut project done that I've been working on, and so we can really see how it's performed and how the dust collection is going and everything, and maybe by then I will have the uh, the 90 degree attachment piece but I just wanted to let you guys know that they were really good to get back to me I mean I think it took took them maybe a day day and a half to respond but I know business is busy people are busy still though they got back to me they said it's in the mail and uh, when I get it in about a week or two like I said we'll do an update on that carving and how the unit is performing so let's get back to the review anyway very simple we got some instructions here in this owner's manual can't imagine they're going to be very difficult. I mean, if you look at it, it seems like a pretty cut and dry thing. I'm not reading those either. So when I was at Home Depot, I know this goes on top of a bucket. So I picked up a Home Depot five gallon pail. We got the bucket. The point of this thing is to just pop on top and lock on. Let's see here. That's it. It's on. Now I did see a review online for this. Somebody said it was hard to get back off the bucket. Oh, so let's do that first thing. Let's see how this thing comes off. There's these little tabs on each side when you put this thing on. You got this tab here and there's one over here. Now what it looks like is those tabs will pop out just a little because it's all one piece. So I mean, over time I'd be concerned that they're gonna snap and not have such a good seal. But, all right, so that's just one. A little bit of a, a lift on that tab and it just pops right out. It's probably actually in those instructions I threw on the ground, but it seems simple enough to figure out, right? And I'm feeling a bit skeptical. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm feeling a bit skeptical. When I look down in the top here, there doesn't really seem to be anything that separates. I mean, there's a little piece of plastic in here on the one side so if you're looking at this you know this is where the dust gets sucked in and this is where your shop vac hooks up so the shop vac hooks up here sucking up and the dust gets sucked in here but when you look inside it which I don't know if you guys can see well there's not like a, a wall separating or a tube sec separating where the suction is you know for the outtake compared to the intake so it kind of looks like the dust is going to come in and could potentially just go right into the vacuum I, I've never used one of these and I, I haven't done my old YouTube school and watched a video ahead of time. I just kind of sort of a spur of the moment purchase. Hopefully it wasn't a bad one. Anyway, I'm going to put this on. There it is. Here's my little three foot hose, which <clears throat> I think uh, maybe we'll use this for right now. I'm gonna put a piece on it so that it can sit next to my work to suck up the dust as I carve into the bucket. All right, so I got my shop vac hose. Because I don't have that 90 degree angle, I gotta put this thing on top like that. So the 90 would have made it so the hose could have came off to the side. I'll take the hose that came with it, which is about three feet long, plug it in, and this is gonna be my working area. So I'm gonna put this wider mouthpiece on here for the dust. And I can set this up like this next to my work piece as I carve. I'm going to be doing something like that. I will bring you guys in closer in a minute and I'll start carving and we'll see how well this performs. I got you in here a little closer. I'm going to be using my Fordham carver and just some saber tooth burr bits here. And we're going to just start kind of hogging out some of the wood, creating good amounts of sawdust. I mean, here's already some of the sawdust on the bench. As you can see, it's really fine stuff this bit creates. And so it'll really be uh, putting this system to the test. What do I have? I got a six and a half horse, 16 gallon shop vac. So just so you know, it's running. It's got a good amount of power behind it. And it sucked most of the dust right off. The last bit there, it cleaned up and I mean, one swipe and this thing was clean. And it's really fine dust. So it is pretty easy to just vacuum up. You know, I mean, it's not like chainsaw sawdust and heavy pieces, but the goal for this is to get that 
fine sawdust from having from making its way to the filter. I'm gonna pull these hoses off and uh, let's take a look. A little dust up here just from where it didn't make its way in. Let's go ahead and pop that up. There's not really anything on the inside looking in, looking inside the, the unit there. And we got some dust in there. Halfway decent amount, nothing crazy, but I didn't carve a lot. You know, we only carved a little bit. So, and that is really fine, except for the bigger pieces that were on the bench. That is the dust that I'm hoping this thing would filter. Now, I guess really to do this test the best would have been to put a brand new filter on the shop vac and run it and see. And you know what? Let's just do that. I'm going to take the dirty filter off the shop vac. And when I come back, I'm going to have a brand new clean filter in there. We're going to do this again. And then we're going to pull it off and take a look and see what the filter looks like. All right, guys, so I put a new filter on the shop vac. See it right there? Brand new. If you're skeptical, I'm telling you it's new it is. I promise. This was the filter I just took off. Big difference, right? White, that, yeah. Okay. I want to let you guys know that the bucket's cleaned out. So there's nothing in there. This bucket is cleaned out, so there's nothing in there. And I'm going to put everything back together, and we're going to do this again and see what ends up in the five gallon pail compared to the shop vac base and see if you know some of this sawdust and fine dust makes it there now this thing is primarily full of just fine dust because this is what i've been running and i just i run it i bang it out outside blow it out it looks like a huge dust cloud and then i just keep using these filters and reusing them and reusing them and they hold up actually really well these rigid filters so I mean, that's kind of a plus. How about I just knock all this dust off here on the bench and we'll suck it all right back up and we can just see how it performs. Guys, so give you a little different angle here. Some of the dirt, dust, and crap's coming off this already. I mean, you guys see that, right? That is a lot of crud in there. We're gonna suck all that up. And we're gonna see how much is in the bucket and how much is in the shop vac. So here's the bucket. The shop vac is up and over the side of my bench on the floor. throw it over here get that out of the way undo the shop vac and the first thing we're going to look at is the bucket now once we're done looking at the bucket i'll put the shop back up here and we'll go through that next see what the inside looks like let's open this up We've got dust here in this comb area underneath it's not too bad though i mean it's kind of what i would expect and there it is Pretty good amount of dust in the bucket here. Probably a good two and a half handfuls of just really, really fine, really fine dust. And you guys see, it coats your hands. Just trying to show you how fine it is. You guys can see it in the air here, a little dusting up. So, super fine dust. Well, really fine dust. It just depends on however you figure it is in the bucket so i'd say that's working pretty good give me one second i'll get the shop vac up here we're going to open that up and see if that nice white filter has any dust on it now the good thing is is this dust is really dark and dirty and a lot of it's like black walnut dust so that filter was white and if there's dust all over it it should really stand out now this says 99 percent let's see what happens Hmm. 
That filter looks really good. There is some little particles on it here and there that weren't there when we started, but you know, could be from the crap that's in the bucket. Like there's some loose stuff in the bucket that probably fell off from the sides or the top, but it's not dust. It's white from sheetrock and I had to do sheetrock in a house. So stays in the bucket. Um, there's no actual, there's nothing in there though, for the most part that matches the dust that came off the filter. So I would say this thing does a pretty good job filtering out the dust. I'm actually kind of impressed. I was really skeptical that uh, that this setup was was gonna do what it should. I I really am. Wow, uh, dust topper, you guys have impressed me with this unit right off the bat. I mean, well, I don't want to say right off the bat because you forgot my 90 degree angle. So, well, peace. That's I'm not really impressed by that, but I'm impressed by the fact that this seriously stopped a lot of that really fine dust from getting in my shop vac. If you think about it in the scheme of things, this is seriously going to save me some money with having to replace filters. This is also, I'm going to start using this a lot more when I'm running the bandsaw, definitely when I'm doing fine carving on the bench, because when I'm carving on the bench, I just, I don't have room for a carving table or station. And so I just set the shop back up and run it. And that's gonna, that's gonna really help a lot. So Boy, yeah, I'm really surprised that thing worked. Well, there you go, guys. There you have it. You know, the dust topper collects that super fine dust. Would I buy it again? Yep, I'm pretty sure I would. This time I'd make sure the box, if it was open, had all my pieces in it. And uh, that's all I can say about it. I'm not promoted or anything by Home Depot or Dust Topper. I've just, you know, you guys know if you've seen any of my other reviews, I get a new tool. I just want to share it with you guys. I'm excited to use it and excited to see how things perform you know in the shop and if it's worth even buying whether it's five dollars or a hundred dollars if it doesn't do what it should what's the point of wasting your money on it right i mean we all work and nobody wants to throw money away so really good job to uh dust topper on this product and if you are interested in one of these i will share some amazon links to it because i believe i've seen them on amazon i have i said earlier they're a little more expensive than home depot but if that's all you got that's all you got and you guys can get them shipped to you those purchases will help support this channel. Also, if you guys want to take it a step further and really help support this channel financially, you can jump on my Patreon account. So Patreon gives you guys the opportunity to pledge money or give money to this channel, which will help it continue to grow, continue to move forward, hopefully get out some better videos, be able to do reviews on other tools and things like that. And I mean, a lot of time goes into making these videos for you guys. And so if you want to help with that, cool. If you don't, don't worry about it. Stick around, keep watching stuff. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.